The key update uh, mainly for the, for the year is that uh, we're looking very closely at all the costs that we're incurring and trying to reduce the waste and, uh, that we incur also by uh, looking very closely at um, every little detail from rainfall, grass growth, contracting costs, milk output. We're looking at all those things and how we can improve them all or reduce them. I came to Clive Hall about 20 months ago now to start a, um, a test really uh, to introduce lean management principles onto the, uh, into the management of Clive Hall. We uh, dedicated the first year to collect data, high quality data that we put on an Excel spreadsheet uh, available for us to review. At the end of the first year, we had a very clear picture of the physical performance of this farm and the cost performance of this farm. And it also became very clear where the gains for the second year lay. So we drew up a production plan for the second year with an associated budget that Phil here delivered in the second year. And we achieved significant gains as we planned. Using um, just a bog standard um, rain gauge to measure the, uh, the rainfall, on a daily basis, recording it, and uh, and also with the plate metering uh, that we do on all the paddocks each week, we know how much grass has, has the grass has grown, and obviously the grass growth is dependent on moisture and, and temperature. Um, so that's enabling us to predict the grass growth. If we have low rainfall, we can have low uh, grass growth, and so we're able to put all the information into the Kingswood computer program that we have and uh, we can run what-if scenarios. Um, are they clearing the ground for you? Yes, clearing the ground. We, we hit residuals at 1450 to 1420. So I'm quite happy with that. Um, yeah. Ground conditions just a little bit soft, but yeah, they're going fine, they're, it's okay. So what lean management has achieved at Clyde Hall is it has given Phil control over all his processes. So to the degree that events work in his favor, he can, he can pocket the gain, but more importantly, when things do not work in his favour, he has enough information to make the right decision to mitigate the bad event. And so we're making uh, better informed decisions on when to have the contractor in to cut the grass and stick it in the pit, when we've got good rainfall, good air temperature, good grass growth, and we've got a surplus, and that weather is, is going to carry on. And, um, but if we're going to you know, go into dry spell, we, we won't have the contractor in to cut grass because we may as well eat it in the field rather than stick it in the pit. Um, so we're saving on contractors' costs, Use, using the contractor a lot more uh, effectively and precisely. So I would say that a farmer who can do this is a farmer who is willing to change his habits and become a lot more disciplined about the way that they make decisions on farm. The impact of putting the lean management style into the Clive Hall has meant that we've been able to move a margin from 7p to 10p on a million litres, which is an extra £30,000. And is that good? That's excellent, yeah. <laughs> I'm dead happy with it. <laughs>